as I said, by profession, I'm a medical doctor. I have been working in, in uh, the hospitals in Sulemania, the city that I am based and live. From 2005, uh, I worked as a medical doctor in various uh, hospitals, as a, 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 a worked with many survivors of, of war trauma, including survivors of torture that they have been uh, tortured during the Ba'ath regime, Saddam Hussein era. And we didn't have any kind of knowledge or skill how to deal with the, we call it psychosomatic aspect of their of the, the, the complaint, or how to empathize and to, to understand their situation. So, uh, uh, when uh, Hartman came and discussed the uh, program, I was one of, of the first, the first employee, and I realized that uh, there are specific kind of skills and qualifications that uh, can be used so as to deal with survivors of, of, of torture and trauma. So from that time, uh, I was in, at the First, uh, before working as a director of the program, I was working as a medical doctor, so providing services, primary healthcare services to survivors. Then we realized that the, they need, the survivors need specific uh, interventions that could be dealt with, that could be taught in a systematic manner that they, they can get benefit. So that's how we started the, the program. And we realized that we got training on how to deal with survivors. And we conducted many training as well for many primary care physicians and me medical staff uh, as a, a source to become a community mental health worker. We realized that uh, in 2005, in 2009, sorry, with uh, uh, collaboration and support from Johns Hopkins University, we conducted some randomized control trial and we realized that the services we are providing uh, are very effective uh, in, in, compared to services that uh, didn't uh, have the component of the, the, the active listening, the empathy. Uh, uh, and that's how we felt that it's important for people to, to, to uh, in order to provide quality services to their clients, patients, users, whatever they call, you need to have uh, to, to think about the client, we call it client center, and also to think about the trauma they, 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 they pass or they experience, we call it trauma focus. So that's how came into our, our experience that uh, that we need to, to, to use client center and trauma focus approach. Unfortunately, when I talked about survivors back to, to, th back to uh, Saddam Hussein era, after that, the torture still is widespread in practice and used in all the successive government or governments by all the successive governments, security forces, militias both in Kurdistan region and Iraq as well. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, we call it burnout or secondary trauma or, or vicarious trauma. Actually, we have a system in place that staff self-care. We are using with uh, various organizations, particularly with one of the organizations called the uh, CVT, the Center for Victim of Torture. It's a US-based organization but they have uh, several programs for organization or centers like us in all over the world, including the Middle, e the Middle East, Iraq, Jordan, and other places. Thankfully, they have been with us for that kind of, of support for the last of two or three years. And before that, we have that system in place, staff self-care, uh, supportive uh, supervision style, and, uh, and other, other type of, of self-care. Otherwise, you are right. Uh, sometimes we, we forget ourselves and we, we become traumatized as well. Well, 
not for a moment even. No, we haven't thought about stopping our work because we realize the importance of our work. And unfortunately, I'm saying unfortunately, but we were fortunate that to have that experience. Unfortunately, there are very, very few survivor, uh, sorry, providers that can provide that quality services. And we know the impact of the survivors. So not, we are not thinking about leaving the world. For the last few years, we are working with university source to incorporate what we got, the, the interventions that we are using into the, into the training curricula, so as to have more providers like us. Uh, we, we managed to work with one of the university, one of the universities in, in, in uh, Kurdistan, uh, to open a master degree, and we managed to have 10 counselors uh, on that. Right now, we are working with uh, several other organizations uh, and one of the universities to incorporate or to revise the curriculum of a clinical psychology so as to, to, to have trauma focus and trauma elements in the uh, curriculum. And the university agreed uh, with that. And, uh, we started that now uh, this year is almost the, uh, the third year. Uh, next year, hopefully, we will finalize the curriculum. Beside, in addition to those, recently we are we moved to Mosul, so as to work with uh, an international organization that they established a center like what we have in Slovenia. We took the responsibilities of training and supervising the counselors in Mosul. Uh, we are going there on a regular basis and we do Skype call, uh, or phone consultations, and we do the same in Kirkuk as well. So due to the need, as I said, unfortunately torture still is, is, is ongoing. Uh, due to the need, we don't want to leave the world, rather no, we want to expand the world. In addition to the individual clients that we call it highlight cases that uh, they have been suffering and complaining from many, many symptoms for many years, or, or, or not just for themselves, for the families, uh, the impact was on their kids. We got a lot of success stories uh, that make us, to be honest, proud that we could manage to save one person or a family. Because for us, saving one person is saving a family, and saving uh, or providing service to a whole community. In addition to those, working with government is a new model. Usually, uh, in most of the context, we feel that government is the perpetrator and you are service provider, how you can work with them. For us, we think that providing in cases direct uh, services is important, but working with government to prevent uh, torture uh, is also important. That's one of the successes that we think it, it is. Uh, to be honest, I have been invited to many places, to Geneva, to, to EU countries, to discuss that model, how you work with, with government. Uh, and people also consider it as a successful. And working with university, because institutionalization is important. As NGO, Usually NGOs, we are funded on annual basis or two years basis with our grants. And we are small compared, small numbers compared to high number of the uh, survivors. And uh, we were just talking about the torture, but we are also dealing with war trauma survivors that we have a lot or many, many. And we are dealing with, we have many programs with gender-based violence or sexual and gender-based violence. Unfortunately, survivors are there are many, many survivors of all these guys. So a small NGO with few staff cannot deal with all those cases. So we, we, we think that working with institutionalization of the services is one of the success areas.